solve the question. So this is code for sales round at 45. See, this is the problem in this quiz master. <coughs> okay. Problem link will be given in the description. Okay, so, so what is given that I have to take three test cases, then here and in interiors, then uh, the second line will be here in interiors. Okay. So this is my this is this is already in my table. So I will simply take here and in. Then what is given? So input part is covered. So now what is given the output? So first I read out the question that a school has to decide on its team for an international quiz. There are n students in the school. We can discuss the student using a array a. Here is the smartness of five students. Okay. So what is a? Simply smartness to the student. Then there are M topics. Okay, listing M means M topics which are numbered 1, 2, 3. Okay, okay. So in the quiz competition, there will be questions from 1 to M topics on 1 to M topics. Okay, so what is given? The IELTS student is considered proficient in a topic T if AI model or T. Okay, equals zero. Otherwise, it is zero. So, in the topic, we say that a team of students is collectively proficient in all the topics. If for every topic there is a member of team proficient, so there is minimum and non minimum and member. So, okay, okay. Find the team that is collectively proficient in all the topics such that the maximum difference between them. Okay, so first thing is that you can you have to select some team members. So from this array A, I have to pick uh, some students that will participate in a team quiz competition in a way that every topics can be covered by at least any of the students. So any of the students uh, must be proficient in one to m every topic. Okay. 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 So what does what is AI modulo T? T is any arbitrary topic which is modulo T is zero. That means the student is proficient. So what can I say that AI can cover what? Every student can cover the topics that is his factors. Suppose AI is four. So what topics it can cover? That one, two and four. Okay, so we have to calculate factors of each student. So these topics will be covered by four. So with AI will be I can cover which topics 1, 2, 5, 10 because, because uh, suppose k equals to 2 then ai modulo k equals 0 that means these topics can be covered by uh, this number okay this is the example so we, we have to play with our factors one thing I can show that uh, then what we have to do that we have to 
maximum difference between the smartness of any two students. So, okay, we have to pick those students who can cover all the topics and their difference is minimal. So, uh, so, so, so to decrease the differences, what can we do? Let's suppose some students are like this. That in example, this one. 6, 4, 3, 5, 7. What can we do? That 6 have some factors. Okay. I'm writing down the factors. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 6. Okay. Then for 4, factors of 4 will be 1, 2, and 4. The factors of 3 will be. We are focusing on the upper part only, then we will try to calculate this one. Okay, we have to minimum. So for 5, it will be 1 5. First, we will find out the area that can cover, that can fulfill this requirement. There are team members, sorry. So these are the factors. Yeah. So uh, if I pick 6, then what I have? So what is k here? k here is 7. So for this, k equals to 7. k is not k, equals to 7. <coughs> then what? That we can cover every 7 elements. 7 means 1 to 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So if I pick only 6, then it is not possible because 1, 2, 3, 6, only these 4 topics will be covered. So if I put, uh, if I put 6 and 4 together, then what will happen that the topics covered will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 5 uh, topics. If I also put this 5, 1, 5, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 topics will be covered. So if I put 7, then all the, okay, all the 7 topics will be covered. So if I uh, pick 7, 4, 5, 7, if I pick every number, suppose, uh, for the, if I pick every number, so what will happen that every, in case of here, every topic will be covered. Okay. So then what will be my answer? My answer will be difference of maximum and minimum. What is maximum here? 7 and 3. My answer will be 4. But uh, it will be not 4 because, uh, in, because it is not yet. I have not considered yet that I have to minimize. minimize uh, the selection such that the smartness difference between smartness of maximum and minimum will be maximum difference between smartness of any two students will be minimum. Okay, so if I pick uh, these students, what will be the difference? Difference will be 4, but the answer is 3. So, how can I get 3? That if I did not pick 3, what happened that it is possible that 1, 2, okay, if I not if I don't pick 3, then also my answer is fulfilled that 4, 6, 5, 7. Then what will be the difference? 7 minus 4, that will be 3. Okay. So to, to decrease. Okay, okay. So I'm, uh, okay. Hmm, so if I focus here, that we need to minimize the difference, then what should I do? That I should sort the array so that so what will my my approach that I will uh, try and check every element possible. That I will pick six and check what are the factors four factors, and I will pick four. Then check how many extra factors is there. Okay, in case of my factors will be five. In case of my factors will be five. In case of here, my factors will be five. A so six in case of the seven. Okay. So I need to sort the array such that I can fulfill this requirement. That uh, the difference between the smartness of two students is minimum. So if I sort the array like this, like this. Okay. So
So in case of here, there are two topics which is covered. In case of here, uh, how many topics are covered? Total, all total, four topics. In case of here, how many topics is covered? That is uh, five topics. In case of here, I'm oh, sorry, I need to see short. Guess of where how many factors I can make two, two listing factors two listing factors which is less than seven I have to uh, I have to check it also that it must be less than equal to seven factors so in case of four how many factors are there three so if I take three and four together how many factors will be there it will be four one two three four okay so i can maintain this with a set that i can insert set uh, here that set one uh, set insert one and three then i am inserting all the factors of four in the set then i can calculate with set size that how many elements are there say okay, here how many five elements in the set uh, in case of here how many elements uh, six elements are there that's in my set in case of where how many elements in my set there's seven when i reach seven what i can do that i can delete this and check if it is possible or not so to delete this so so if when i have to delete this i have to remove this from set when i am removing this from set if three not occurring anywhere else so that means I have to maintain a map also to count the number of elements. If the count of number of elements here leads to zero, that means I need to erase something from set. So in case of for that one is uh, one is present how many times? One, two, three, four, five. So if I remove one, then one will also one will not deleted from my set. Okay. If I remove three, three will not deleted from my set because in between four to seven, there are uh, there are uh, there presents a three. Okay, so I can easily remove this. I can remove this. Okay. If I am removing this, I can check that if I can remove this one also or not. So I am if I am I have if I check that one is present between five to seven. Yes, one is present. 2 is present, yes, 2 is present, but 4 is not present anywhere else. So if we delete this one, that means what? My set size will again decrease. Then I have to check further from here. But here, um, array ends. Okay. So we need to, have to check. So first of all, I have to sort the array. what uh, in on um, not only factors but factors whose value is less than equals to n okay because if uh, some factors is there which is greater than seven suppose uh, there is a element for, uh, 14 is there then the factor here then the factor of 14 is not required in this that make no sense so i have i only save those factors in are less than equals to n given n This 
password optimization that will make my time complexity in routine if i check this is uh, okay. What will happen that I can get in factor one? What will be my factor one? That will be J. Another factor I will get that is factor two. That will be what A of I by J. Because I am checking from one to root of A. I. Okay. Uh, to reduce the time time complexity. The time complexity in case of will be uh, n root the value of this array element. Okay, this factor one and factor two. What I have to do that I have to store that factor one and factor two with these factors in this two digit vector factors. Okay, so factors of i. Factor of one, my factor of one will be equals to n. Then only I will be setting this. Okay, same case of factor two also. Factor two also. If factor two less than equals to n, then I will be setting factor two. But uh, there is a problem. We know that in case of twenty-five, what will happen? My factors will be one. Uh, the j will traverse like j equals to one, and then uh, I am getting here this j equals to five. In case of j equals to five, both factor one and factor two will be five. So I have to check this also. So if factor two is less than n, and what will happen? And if, and if factor two is not equal to factor one, then only I will be Inserting this in my factors vector. Okay, so that's how. Uh, so my factors, two D vector factors is created. So I am checking if it is created properly or not. Also, one test is checking for this. But okay, so this is sorted. So three, one, three. Okay, okay, okay. No problem. Uh, every okay. it is given. So my factors vector is ready. Now I have to proceed to. The next, then I will be. What will happen? That then I will be traversing like two pointer vectors. Okay. First, I have check my right and left pointer will be here. Then I am uh, checking for the next one. That if this is fulfilled or not. Uh, this is not fulfilled because two is less than n. Okay. So what will I do? That I am moving my right pointer to four to this one. Okay, then what will be my size of my set? That will be four. So it is again not fulfilling my requirement. So I will again increase my uh, right pointer. Okay, okay. In case of what, 
in case of error, what will happen? That my uh, my site is fulfilled. My site uh, site size is fulfilling my requirements. So my right pointer will be stopped here, and then I will check for. Then I will increment my left pointer and check if it is possible here or not. Okay, I have to choose the minimum range. Okay, so. Okay, so if I removing one and three, that does not mean that I am removing one from my set. Okay, so that's why I am using map to store how many times it. If map of uh, AI is less, less than if map of AI which is zero, that means I have to remove that one from my set. Okay, so now uh, why? While loop for the two pointer approach, then if my shape size is less than less than what less than n, okay, that means it is not fulfilling my requirements. So what I have to do that I have to add some elements in the shape and increment my right pointer, okay. So I have to increment. My right pointer, but before that, I have to insert the factors, all the factors. Factors, factors of what? Factors of right, right pointer. Currently, I mean right pointer. when i get my requirements that means what that then that means i have a uh, i have a i have a answer okay so i will first minimize my answer okay, so first of all i have to declare so i am it is random a high value Random I will know. There will be no problem with result equals to I I18 because no one can match this. Okay, no answer. So now if if my so in case of what that means my set size fulfilling my requirements. So in case of in case of here I have to minimize my result. So to get to minimum of result comma what result comma difference between two points as the array is sorted. So what will be my answer? My answer will be simply a of right minus a of left. Simple. It is right to wrong. 
let me check so uh, suppose i am inserting this one one and three so my right pointer will be one hmm. so if my answer will be two okay okay so that will be right so i will check this later so this is my result then what i have to do i have to do this same thing here for loop two. Okay. Uh, to removing and I have to erase. Okay. But not erase all of it. I will erase when this value is zero. Then this goes to zero. Yes, from myself. This is not right. This is left. Okay. I think this is right. So why look confusion? Suppose right reaches to n plus one, but we need to increment my left also to maximize to minimize my answer. So I'm writing this. This is not possible, but my right. In case I am entering here, my right one is greater than equal to n, then I need to work in more. Okay, I'll break from here. Mm, okay, I think this is pretty fine. Okay. Now printing my result. Okay, it is given three. Okay. For all the scopes. One eighteen zero three. Okay. So if my if my result goes to one eighteen, then I will turn uh, minus one. Then put from here. Okay. That means I cannot minimize my answer. That means there is no answer. It is minus one zero. Nine nine something. So there will be wrong answer. Then I will. I can check here as okay. This is accepted. So um, that's for today.